Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show a tip how to take advantage of the Razer Autodesk V2 key keypad with Autodesk products. So I'm going to use it with Civil 3D and show you some of the shortcuts I've created to take advantage of this product in conjunction with Autodesk products. To get started, you need to download the actual Synapse 3 software. See here, it sees all my peripherals that I have installed in my PC. And there's my Razer Tartarus V2. And then I'm going to go into my dashboard. And under modules, you'll see a macro. You can install the macro here. You'll see it on the top of this list. Uh, I've actually installed it already. Now it shows up right here. So with the macro, I can record keystrokes and all the commands and provide a shortcut to my actual keypad. So let's go through that process. I'm going to slide this over real quick. I'm going to create a simple macro, which is my aerial, the geo map tool. And so I'm going to uh, click the record button. So there's a little record button right here. I'm going to hit record. And I'm going to type in geo map and then A for aerial. And I'll stop the recorder. And as you can see here, I recorded my keystrokes. And I'm going to give this a name geo map. Okay. And then come back in here one more time. Go under here and click on no delay. I don't want any delays. Okay. And I'm also going to change the delay here to zero. And then assign it to one of my keypads, keys. I'll come back in here to the Tartarus keyboard. And I'm under, I actually have this button as my shift to change between the keypads. So if I hit it one more time, you can see it's switching. The different key maps. So this is the, my all my shortcuts. I've already filled this one up. Go to my next one. I have three left here, so I'm going to use this as my geo map. I'm going to click here, and then go to my macros on the left and assign it that geo map command that's got recorded, and hit save. I'm going to create one more to turn off the aerial. So I'm going to come back over here to my macro. So I can record it. Command again. I'm going to slide this over and click record and type in geo map off o, o for off and stop the recorder. Get back to our command here. And I'm going to call this one the geo, geo map off. Okay. Now that we've created our command, I'm going to make some simple modifications. I'm going to click into record, no delay. Change this delay here also to zero here. Okay. And we'll minimize this. Go back to my synapse. Tartarus. And go ahead and assign these two buttons with those commands. So if I click on the button and go to macros and look for my command. Geo map. They save. Okay, and then this one is a turn off. So macro. Go off and save. There we go. So now when I run my commands, I can hit and turn on the the, uh, the aerials immediately and turn them off. I'm noticing a slight delay, so I'm going to go make some simple modifications real quick. Go back in there real quick uh, and look at our macros. Should be set to no delay. Click on here and let's go back, make sure. Up, oh, it didn't save. Change this back to zero. Wait, come back in here one more time, just double check. No delay. Zero. Really don't see a save button, it just saves it automatically. Okay, let's see if it works faster. When I hit the keys. Look at that. That's pretty instant to turn off the the uh the keys. Now turn it off. So that's how I I create simple commands and create some macros into my Tartarus V. Uh, Razer keypad and that actually saves me a lot of uh, time when I'm designing so uh, 
Then look into our next video where I'll talk about some of our gaming mouses and customizing some macros into these gaming mouses that have nine, even 12 buttons. All right, thanks for watching.